Yeah, so there's some guys jumping out that I am a little in shock about. I probably start off with number one, and James definitely has some too. I know that he was tweeting at the practice. Uh, number one to me so far has got to be that's I was like completely in shock of so far has got to be Johnny Wilson, the Arizona State wide receiver. I think he's been the best transfer so far. It's only been two practices. There haven't been any pads on, and I think things change a little bit with shoulder pads for wide receivers. I might be wrong with Wilson, but I mean, the contested grabs that he's been doing, we're talking 80% of the balls that he's caught, and I haven't seen him drop a ball, at least a good thrown ball to him. I haven't seen one drop from him yet. I mean, these balls are got DBs on them, holding on to them, holding just dragging with them and he's making the grabs on the sideline, getting a foot in. I think, Oh, I didn't think I wrote down in my notes on Monday that he had a back to back to back catch in a row on a one series. And I'm extremely impressed. You know, I was hearing some certain things during tour of duty. He was getting acclimated to that. So a little tough going kind of like how McLean was last year and was hearing the same thing, but seems like a switch was made bought in and, you know, his body looks good. He doesn't move like a six, seven guy. He moves like he's a six, two, and it's really impressive. He's got great size and he's making some snags. And I'm, I'm kind of I'm just in shock there. I didn't really expect this. And I'd say number two right now has got to be Azure Thomas. Um, you know, I was high on him definitely whenever, uh, Florida State was able to land them. And I think Florida State fans, you know, were all caught up with the Travis Hunter stuff as, you know, I think everybody was. But this is a stud coming in. And, you know, watching him leave the practice on Monday and getting an actual good look at him up close and personal, that guy has the frame of Jalen Ramsey. I'm not saying he's going to be a Jalen Ramsey, but he has the frame as like Jalen did whenever he was in 2013. I put that in our observations piece. He looks good. He's had back-to-back -back interceptions in both practices so far. And he's just looks good. He puts himself in the right position. He's understanding the assignment. There's still some plays where he's getting beat. Yes. But so far for a true, true freshman as an early enrollee in the start of spring to be doing this, the staff loves it. Coach Woodson, Coach Norvell, always giving him some praise during practice. I'd say those two, at least guys that, you know, newcomers and pressing early, um, Man, Wilson and Azaray Thomas, some good stuff so far from them. Logan, question for you. Obviously, through the first couple of practices, you mentioned some of the guys who you've you've liked to see so far. Which players have surprised you the most? And which players do you think have also had the most to do, had the most work left to do at this point? Um, I think, well, number one surprise is definitely Wilson there. That was my surprise guy right there. Um, another surprise one, maybe Rodney Hill. I didn't expect James. You probably, you saw him. We, well, we both see him up close, but he, he, he looks a lot different than how he did as a recruit. He's put on some serious size. I don't know what coach storms has done with him, but he's put on some size, but he's explosive. He might be with him and Ward, I think might be the most explosive cats there. I mean, I mean, Rodney has some really strong potential. If you go back and look at his highlights, too, he wasn't facing great competition, and that's why he wasn't rated so high. But, I mean, he put on shows week, every week, every Friday night he was putting on shows. But uh, I think it's guys that need to, some more work to do. I think Greedy Vance is one defensive back transfer from Louisville. I think that there's definitely some work there for Vance to do. I think that, you know, out of all the DBs, I think – you know, guys are guys are in their groove. It's kind of 50-50 right now with wide receivers and DBs making plays. But I think Greedy Vance definitely needs to get get into a groove here. We'll see this Wednesday if he, he can flip, flip something. James, what do you think of a guy that kind of has surprised you or impressed you early since camp started? James, you got us? Uh, did we lose James? I might have lost James. Did the headphones go out? <laughs> that must be it. That's what he had to get uh, worked on before we started to uh, go live here. Yeah, yeah, Greedy Vance. I forgot about Greedy Vance. Thirty-six tackles at Louisville last year. Yeah, it's been it's been a um, rough start for spring. Um, that's why you have spring so you can work on these things. But I think it's just getting adjusted. I mean, like I said, these these wide receivers. And there's no knock on these other transfer wide receivers. I think Deuce is still understanding the system. That's still a project guy too that we all need to understand. That's a project wide receiver. But man, this the size. He's kind of has that Tamarion Terry size to him too, and he's got the speed, the length. But um, Johnny Wilson by far. I think him and Pittman 
are uh, levels ahead, but we haven't really seen Winston Wright yet full, you know, full go, full blast. We do see him returning kicks in the early three periods. So hopefully, you know, once he's fully ready to rock, um, I'm interested to see him because, you know, I'm loving what I'm seeing from Johnny Wilson. He's he's going to be a legitimate threat. I mean, McLean, like I said last year, I'm expecting him to be a starter day one, like he was last year in, in the middle, almost week three going into the rest of the season. McLean, Johnny Wilson, those are ridiculous red zone threats. Not even red zone threats, but Wilson, whenever he did those back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back catches, those were down the middle. Fantastic grabs, one on the sideline, then two back-to-backs down the middle. I mean, Johnny Wilson is is I'm, I'm in shock. I didn't I didn't see this coming. I really didn't. And he's won he won the day for me on Monday.